Welcome to the latest Newman Motor. This has a 32 inch fan attached to a shaft rotating around 110 RPM. The current we're drawing is from 0.03 to 0 0.00 amps from 0 0.03 to 0 0.00 amps ignoring the negative spikes according to the meter the analog milliamp meter we have this reading it goes from below 0 milliamps to up to the 40 or 60 milliamp reading it seems to alternate between 60 and 40 milliamps and then we have a little just a barely perceptible negative mark now disconnect we see this is what we have right here we would have to go all the way over there to see a gap. See the gap right there? Now we're over here, we don't see the gap. As it speeds up, from this angle we already see a gap. Over here, the gap's greater obviously. But, when we remove the prong, we see that there's no gap to move all this way before we see a gap. So we know that even the analog meter is picking up the negative spikes. The peak current according to the analog meter is alternating between 60 and 40 milliamps. This is the current we're drawing in front of the fan. I mean, wind current, not electrical current. One inch separation from the fan to the very edge down here as well. At 110 RPM, according to my last measurement, our tripod setup. Our battery just exhausted. See the battery exhausted. All right. Now we're going to show how much this can blow. Hopefully I can set it up here. Point it at the right angle. And to show how much this is blowing. There we go. As we can see, it's enough to lift this bag, although keeping it stable is a problem. The bottom lift of the bag wants to move. There we go, if I hold it this way. Just slightly touch it right there. Put it here. all the way over here. Now we're going to measure the voltage.
my hands away. Okay, first of all, there's a better way to connect this. Okay, that's why the plug wasn't all in the way. So we got 267 volts measuring from this beginning of the battery pack. Which connects all the way over there. All the way to this end. The very end, which also connects to that commutator is over there. I'm going to view it from the other end. There's our commutator and our wires. I made this thing more stable and more compact and the gap, the gap is reduced in size and the shaft is more level than before. So that's it.